D3O is a British company that's sprung up in the last few years uh, around a proprietary technology they've developed to build armour. Now they started off in snowboard and uh, winter sports style armours and, uh, and moved on to uh, a few sports like lacrosse and even ballet shoes. But the idea of their, uh, their special technology, which is all very top secret, is that it, uh, the plastic that they use contains intelligent molecules which uh, apparently flow around quite freely uh, at slow speeds but then when they're subjected to shock or high speed impact they sort of grip and lock together. The best way to demonstrate this stuff is with this jar of uh, D3O liquid that they've sent us. Uh, if you very gently place your finger on and just give it a little bit of a push you can see that it moves in very easily but if you stab it quickly with your hands it offers a lot more resistance so yeah interesting stuff having had quite a bit of success in the winter sports industry where they uh, where they use this stuff to make very thin flexible um, woolly beanies and uh, and snowboarding pants so that you've got lots of freedom of movement but also impact uh, absorption if you fall over D3O's started to get into the motorcycle gear business and they're uh, basically now starting to make a range of CE armor inserts for uh, motorcycle leathers and, and, uh, and protective clothing. Now they sent us a full set to have a bit of a look at. Here's an elbow pad from uh, D3O. You'll notice it is extremely flexible. And let's compare that with the standard armor that came in with my uh, with my leather jacket much thicker much more rigid and when you put it on it gives you that power ranger style big elbow look that uh, that most motorcycle leathers have if you put the d3o on however you'll notice it's much more form fitting very very flexible we have noticed also that it seems to become more flexible with heat as well so I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So yeah, they've sent us a full set of this stuff. Uh, and we thought, how are we going to test this? We're not going to stick it in a set of leathers and then go sliding down the road. So we came up with a very, very scientific process. I have taken my leathers and removed the stock armour from the right-hand side of the leathers and uh, fitted D3O on there instead. And we're going to... Uh, now show you the incredibly scientific process we're using to test this. <laughs> we charms the D3O. <laughs> that's, that's the, that's the non-D3O. <laughs> <laughs> that actually really hurt. As uh, scientific as our saucepan test was, in my mind it actually produced a result because there was definitely more pain on, uh, on one side and it was this side. Uh, I think the, it was fairly clear to me after just a couple of hits, um, although Noel wanted to be very thorough, uh, that, that the, uh, the Nox side was actually absorbing more, uh, it was definitely hurting more on this side. So what can you conclude from that? Well, this one's about three times thicker than this one and I would say that the difference in levels of pain between the, uh, the two arms was probably closer to 20% something like that so there's no doubt in my mind that if D3O was making these pads at this kind of thickness uh, they'd be doing a much better job uh, at the moment D3O's, D3O's focus is really on that uh, really on that flexibility and the ability to build this armor into kind of fashion outfits that uh, you know that, that can look good while you're riding and I guess that's probably that's that's a great thing if you're a, maybe a commuter rider or a scooter rider something like that 
Um, it's certainly, I, I can definitely see the value of this stuff for skateboarders, snowboarders, um, yeah, in sports players and that sort of thing. But I guess when it comes down to it, if I'm on a motorcycle, uh, you know, riding fast and going hard, the impacts that I'm potentially subjecting myself to are much worse than a uh, than a <laughs> yeah a well swung saucepan. So yeah, for me uh, as a motorcyclist, I want the you know, the best impact absorption I can get at the moment. That's this. I would love to see a D3O version that's thicker. It would still be just as flexible. Uh, it would still be more comfortable than the than the uh, traditional Knox style CE protectors, but if we had a thicker one of these, I think it would um, it would also do a much better job of impact protection. So there you have it. Uh, this one's the winner for today, but uh, but the D3O stuff I think has great potential, and uh, we'd love to see more of uh, more of this sort of stuff in the future. So cheers.